All we're going to talk about first is this. How many people have you talked to about the real estate business in the last two weeks? Maybe 10? Maybe 10? You've been on any appointments in the last two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, a listing appointment? Is, okay. So we got some activity. Have you gotten a listing in the last two weeks? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Huh. Not yet, okay. What have you done the last two weeks, Chief? I did an open house for investors. Yay, good. Did you get some uh, warm bodies at your open house? Actually, they were so warm they didn't even want to make it to the second floor. They all left. It was so hot in the house. Everybody was like, I'm out of here. I'm not interested in it. It's too hot. Hey, Paul. <laughs> and I did some showings That's what... uh, in a couple houses that rolls out. Okay, so you showed something and you did an open house. Hey, Paul, what have you done in the last two weeks, yeah. partner? Yeah, we what have I done? Yeah, that has to do with real estate. You did what? In the last two weeks? What does he want to see? Yeah. Really? Woo, the star is here. <laughs> they all, they all going to stay together? All those meals going to stay together? Okay. Where'd you find the buyers? Uh, 100%. Don't worry about it. Investors. Door knocking. Door knocking? Yeah. Did a little door knocking and had some success with it? Yeah. Good. Were you just looking for some, looking for, how, what were you door knocking for? Uh, we had a property that was, uh, whatever you decided to Point Pleasant. So, yeah. I just went and basically okay. went down there to the area and started knocking to the neighbors. Uh-huh. And, uh, and, and it wound up being that the one neighbor I knocked wanted. Danny, the base of the stand. It's literally on the edge. It's going to fall off. The one neighbor that he knocked on wanted the house. Wanted the house? Never. Wanted to buy the house? Yeah. What a lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> lucky day. But that's, yeah. hey, but the point with that kind of stuff is, hey, would you have found them without door knocking? No way. No way. You got to do the activities. That's what we keep talking about with this stuff. You got to do the activities. So we can say we got six people in here and we got uh, three sales, all but one guy. We got a couple open houses done. We got a couple other things done. You gonna do something since you pass the test, okay? You gonna do something since you pass the test, right? People, the only reason I ask you this kind of stuff is, the only reason I ask you this kind of stuff is because you gotta do the activities. I can stand up here. He can stand. He can work with you till God knows when. If you don't go out and do the activities, you're not going to have any success at it. And, you know, the idea is to make some money in this stuff, I, I hope. Okay? All right. Let's see if we can answer this. Let's see if we can answer this. Take one of those. Take one of those. Just grab one of those. Okay, just hand them out down there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone is at the All right. All right, what we're going to start with today, what we're going to start with today is just something to see if you remember anything. You know? Let's see if you remember anything because all of the answers to all of these things uh, have come out. Okay. The first one up there, we're not ready to list. We want to think about it. That's the one that Lewis hit me with a couple weeks ago. Now, what's the answer to that? What's the answer? What do you think? Just give me an idea. Let's, we're just talking about these things. Give me an idea of what you think that is all about. We're not ready to list. We want to think about it. They want to speak with other agents? They're going to speak with other agents. Absolutely, positively. They're going to speak with other agents. And what do you think they're going to do? They're going to list with the? One that works best for them. Yeah, but what's the one that usually works best for them? The one that gives them the highest price. The one that gives them the highest price. Absolutely, positively. So you've got to have some dialogue to try to stop that. All right? Follow me? You've got to have some dialogue to try to, follow, to stop that. So if this might be a, a good idea. Say something like this. Don't list with anyone who only wants to talk to you about the list price. Don't list with anyone who only wants to talk to you about the list price. 
All right. So that's what a lot of them will do. They'll just talk to you about the list price. What are you more interested in, the list price or the sale price? Sale price. Yeah, so you ask me. listed for 800000 I can list it for anything I want to. I can, my house I live in, it's not worth a million, but I could walk around and say, I got, my house, I got my house on the market for a million dollars. Some people think that what they have is worth more than what it is. Oh, they do. Nearly all of them do. That's the reason what's so important with it is you got to get them to start to think sale price. Okay? So, what did we just say? Don't let them do what? What did we say? Don't let them talk about the list price. Don't let them talk to you about the list price. Make sure they talk to you about the sale price. All right? Now, do you think... The in, yeah, we're going to make some... Yeah. But do you think that anybody's going to talk to them about the sale price? Huh? Yeah, everybody almost. Well, we'll talk to you about the list price. But will, they, list price. Yeah. but will they talk to you about the sale price? No. Never comes up. Usually never comes up. So, if we're going to do that, you got to say just what we just said. You talk to them about the list price. Make sure they talk to you about the list price. All right? But make sure they talk to you about what the house will sell for. And this is the key right here. Make sure they show you a detailed marketing plan of how they're going to get that price. Make sure they show you a detailed marketing plan about how they're going to get that price. Back to my old company, we had a big portfolio that showed the marketing plan. And if you didn't come in here and drop that, mar that portfolio down in front of them, then you know you were hurting because most, most people go in there with almost nothing, a few comps. And a lot of them don't even have the comps, don't have copies of the comps. They just got something, let me show you here, to, 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 right? Let me show you what the half does. Now. No, no, no. You got to put stuff in their hand. You got to put stuff in their hand. Because if they don't list tonight, what are they going to do? Well, this one, ours is better than this one, and ours is better than that one, and da 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 da. They're going to compare houses. So make sure you got something to say to counteract. There she is. Da 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 da. All right, watch, watch this, watch this. I knew it. You knew it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. We've asked everybody in here a question, Seth. Okay. All right. What have you done in the wonderful world of real estate in the last two weeks? What have I done? What have you done real estate wise in the last two weeks? Well, I saw that. How many did you talk to? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Where did you find the ones you did talk to? Open house. You had an open house. Okay, see, I'm, that's what we're trying to find out. If you, got an, if you got activity. Okay, you had an open house. Right? Yes. Did you have people there? Yes. Did you do any follow-up on the people that came to the open house? Yes. Good for you. Did you find anybody who wanted to buy a house? Yes. Good. See? It's activity. That's all it is. It's activity. Uh, you know, you've ever heard the term, Lewis, you ever heard the term, I'm in real estate? Yes. Well, what did they say? I'm in real estate. What did the person who said it to say? It? Yeah, but what, no, but, but when people, what do you think they mean when they say I'm in real estate? I'm a real estate agent. Yeah, it's very vague. Yeah, it's very vague. Sure, they didn't say I buy real estate or I sell real estate or I'm a real estate agent or anything. I'm in real estate. Well, I can have a real estate license. I'm in real estate. I think I got a real estate license, right, still. I haven't talked to anybody about buying or selling a house in eight or nine years, okay, to mount anything. But see, the point, I, I'm going to stress this, is you got to get active. What's the next question? Say, you gotta, you're talking to a FISBO. you got a buyer for my house. I'm a FISBO now. I say, have, do you have a buyer for my house? Somebody give me an answer. Give me an answer. Um, I haven't done my homework yet. Like no. I work with a lot of buyers. I work, there you go, Paul. I work with a lot of buyers. I don't know if I have a buyer for your house yet, but I work with a lot of buyers. Right? Got to have an answer. There's an answer. Now, it's not always the same answer. You could answer some of these differently. A potential seller says, how much can I get from a house? Somebody just said that in a while ago. I don't know yet. I have to do my keyword research. Absolutely, positively. I don't know what I can get for your house. I have to do my research. 
first. You can't walk in there and never seen the house and they say, what can I get from a house? And you can't say 750,000, right? What's the next question say? Oh, we're, <laughs> we're only gonna list for a month. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever had that happen? No, three months, how about three months? Yeah, we'll only list for you for three months. What's the answer? What are you gonna say? We'll only list for a month. What, do you want to live? Uh, do you, you want list? to sell your house? <laughs> why? You said my house would sell. Why do, you, why do I need to list longer? Exposure. Uh, here, that's somebody starting on the right track. You only list for 30 days. Here's the, here's the answer. That's not how we work. That's not how we work. It takes at least 30 days to get all of the marketing plan in place. All right? Feed them that kind of stuff. To we'll start with, that's not how we work. Uh, Lewis won't let you come in here with a 30 day listing. Week. Right? <coughs> with for sale by owners, um, I found that they um, don't want any uh, commitment to anyone. All right. So I always give them a, um, uh, what's that called? A um, exclusive agency. Not exclusive agency. I always, I always give them the opportunity to uh, withdraw the listing conditionally at any point. Mm -hmm. So if they're like, oh, why does it have to be six months? Why does it have to be a year? I said, it's not. It's a one day listing. If you're not happy with us, okay. I'll release you. Okay. So we do our terms for six months. We do yeah. Terms for a year. Okay. There's there's the answer. Another answer. Any way you do it, just the key is just have an answer. What's the next one say? We want wealthy advertising. <laughs> uh, that was supposed to have said weekly. She miss. She typed that one wrong. We want wealthy advertising. Yes, yeah, sir. That's right. She couldn't. We want weekly advertising. Ooh, you gonna, you know you get some, you gonna advertise my house every week. Talk to me. Of course. Yes. Advertise it every day. Of course, of course. Okay. You're going to advertise it every day, Paul? Yeah. Tell me. How are you going to do that? 24-7. Social media. Okay. Now you, now you got to explain to it, right? You got to explain how. You, if you tell them you're going to list it or advertise it every day, you got to be able to talk to them, right? How are you going to do that? Because they're going to say, oh, every day, how are you going to do that? Now you got to have an answer. That's all. I'm not going to go into a lot of this stuff too heavily, but you just, the point being here with all of these little questions we're coming up here with, you've got to have an answer. You've got to have an answer. And the better you get at this business, guess what? The better the, the better the answer. And the more you'll succeed. But you got to, you're just starting, you just start, you got to have a lot of answers real early. Real early. How long you, I'm, hey, here you go, try this one. How long you been in the business? Seems like, Seems like forever. Somebody got that right. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. How long you been in this? Seems like forever. Okay. <laughs> you could say, you know, what's that mean? It seems like forever. I really, I'm, I'm new. I just started. I'm new in the business. I have no listings. If I, if you list your house with me, I can spend all of my time selling your house. How's that sound to you? See. See this up here? What's that say? What is STS? What is STS? We talked about that. We talked about that. Anybody know? Small talk smart. Small talk smart. We're going to get more of it here in just a little bit. All right, where are we going? Oh, on the appointment, the potential seller says, we don't agree with your price. Uh oh, you ever had one that didn't agree with your price? Of course. Now what are you going to do? We don't agree with your price? Show them how we got a price. Absolutely. Show. Do you hear the key word was show? Key word was show. You're going to show how you came upon that price, right? Sold comps. Stuff that's on the market now that's comparable. Don't care how you do it. Don't care how you do it. Just have an answer for it. Right? Follow? All right, there's another one. <coughs> Here we'll talk about what the buyers, the buyers said here. Here you go. Here you go. Just scoot them down the line. Here. Let's talk about what a buyer said. <laughs> Have you ever run into somebody that said that first one there? We used to run into those at open houses all the time. 
We don't know anything. Yeah, we're sort of interested in buying a house, but we don't know anything about buying a house. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about buying a house. All right, here's, a, here's an answer. I'm going to educate you in the home buying process. I'm going to educate you in the home buying process. Everybody likes to be educated. I'm going to educate you in the home buying process. And then you mention a couple of things that have to be done to buy a house. But you have an answer, see? Work with me. Work with me. I'll educate you in the home buying process. Okay. Number two. What do we do think we should offer? Yeah. What do you think we should offer? Yeah, we're interested in buying a house. What should we offer? We talked about this two weeks ago. Heavy duty. <coughs> Remember? If you want to be considered serious, uh, you need to be with a 10% of the asking price. Right. If you want to be considered a serious buyer, you want to be within 10% of the asking price in order to be considered a serious buyer. All right? Okay. Potential sell. Oh, wait a minute. Where were we? Okay, number three. We really, oh, we really, did you ever have anybody tell you they like the house? At an open house, particularly. We like the house. What are you going to do? Huh? Oh, did you say make an offer? Yeah. Offer is a dirty word. That's a dirty four letter word. O F E R. Offer. No, we don't make offers. Okay, what are you going to do? We like the house. I'll give you a hint. Three, two, one. <laughs> See, the point I'm making, people, is you got to practice. I just told you I like it. Is that a buying sign? Yes. Yes. What do you follow the buying sign with? Two what? It's probably written up here somewhere. Two soft clothes and one hard clothes? Two soft clothes and one hard clothes, absolutely. What's the soft clothes question? What do you like to huh? Can, Would you consider us living here? Yes, that's one of them. What's another one? Can you see yourself living here? Yes. Okay, what's another one? What are the schools like? Well, that's one of the buying signs when they ask you things like that. When they ask you things that aren't directly related to the house. That's one of the buying signs you're looking for. Would you like to buy this house? That's the hard close, right. That's the hard close. Could you see yourself living here? You like the house? Yes. Could you see yourself living here? Yes. Would you like to buy the house? And we don't use the word offer. Dirty, dirty four-letter word. Okay. Easy enough? Why do you not use the word offer? Offer thinks that you can change the price. All right, because the reason you don't use the word offer is because they're going to come right back at you. What do you think we should offer? See? And then we're going to say, well, in order to be a serious buyer, you have to be with them. You see how it all fits together? It all fits if you just learn it. it somehow or another, it'll all fit together. All right. We're not ready to buy yet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, when do you feel like you'll be ready to buy? And then you got to, but you got to close on something. What are you going to close on? Um, Can I follow up with you? Interest rates are going up. All right. You got to close on something. You give, what's the first thing you're going to try to do is give them something to encourage them to buy now, right? Inventory is low. Low. Interest rates are higher, high and going higher. Right? <clears throat> so, if you want to get the best deal, you might be better off buying now, based on that. All right, I spent the weekend with my daughter trying to convince her she needs to buy a house, but that didn't work. So anyway, <laughs> we're not ready to buy yet, okay? All right, number five says we want to look at other houses. What are you going to do with them? We, like, we sort of like this house, but we want to look at other houses. What are you going to do with them? Come on. What are you going to do with them? Huh? I just told you what to do with them. Best deal by now? No. We want to look at other houses. Why? Put when in front of that. When would you like to look at other houses? And then you pop out some. I would never go to an open house without some comparables of houses that are on the market or houses that have sold. 
Well, here we've got this one. We got this one. We can see. We got that one. We can see, and so forth. When would you like to see other houses? All right. They just told you what they want to do. And what's the sixth one say? Oh, the kitchen's too small. So there's something they didn't like about the house. The kitchen's too small. You know, we like the house, but the kitchen's too small. What are you going to do? Take a walk. Huh? That's what everybody says. We're going to knock a wall out. We're going to do this. If you own a house, and you, you own, let's just, this is a little off the subject a little bit. If you own a house and you have it on the market for sale, what's the easiest, quickest way to make the kitchen bigger? I can make the kitchen bigger by reducing the price. <laughs> All right? If you want the kitchen bigger, reduce the price. If the street's too busy, reduce the price. Every time you reduce the price, there's less traffic out there on the street. Easy enough? All right, so let's just deal with it from this point standpoint. The kitchen's too small. What are you going to try to do with them? You know, we like the house, but this kitchen's just too small. What are you going to try to do with them? Bingo! Boy, that's rocket science, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show them other houses with bigger, better kitchens. Easy enough? Okay, so the point of this little exercise was real simple. The point of the exercise was real simple. you got to be prepared. you got to be prepared for answering questions, especially those that easily come up. All right, now what else are we going to do today? Well, okay. We're going to go back over the, the uh, open house dialogue and complete that. And then we're going to pair up and let you go practice a little bit. And then we're going to role play a little bit of that and see where we get from there. Okay? Harry's coming in here in a minute. All right, remember the matrix? You got, everybody got the matrix in front of them? Got the matrix from last week? Paul, you got the matrix? Paul don't have a, he don't have anything today. It's downstairs. Okay. That's all right. I'm gonna share. Okay, you can share. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Let's talk about first of all, why do people come to open houses? This is a handout from last week that we did too. Why do people come to open houses? Depends. They're nosy or they want to buy a house. Okay. They come because they want to sell a house, or they want to buy a house, or they want to do both. Okay? And those sellers that come to open houses are usually classified by a lot of real estate agents as, you just said it, nosy neighbors. How many nosy neighbors? You know, it used to make be a standard question. How many nosy neighbors did you have that come to your open house? Well, I had three. You lived right up the street, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Why are they there? Why are they there? They want to see the house. They want to see what their house is worth. Bingo. They want to compare their house to that house to see maybe I can get this much for my house. Yeah. One, two houses down the street from me just sold for nine hundred thousand. I'm just jumping up and down, man. I'm, if I can get my wife to sell that thing, I'd be out of there the day after tomorrow. All right. They come. The nosy neighbors come to compare houses primarily to get a price. They start thinking. So they're thinking of selling. We're going to get into it in the matrix here in a little bit. All right, who else comes? Potential buyers come, right? And some of them come because they have to sell a house before they buy a house. Best deal I ever made in my life. Old couple, I was sitting on the front porch. Remember we talked about that? And here came Ma and Paul from 100 yards up the street, limping down the street. Had to help him up the front steps. Guess what they wanted? They wanted, they wanted to sell their house. Guess what? We, this was a Sunday. Guess what we did on, I think it was Thursday? Sold their house. All right? Guess what we did after that? They bought a condo over the weekend. So within a week, I had three deals. Within a week, I had three deals. But see... The point being, I might not have been able to do that had I not been sitting on the front porch. When you nobody's there, you watch the street. 
And I told you earlier, I said, you watch the street, and here's some of the things we view, and here's some of the things we said about watching the street. Watch for drive-bys. Okay? Especially if it's your listing. Watch for drive-bys. All right? Come on here. I need to talk to you. Harry. Can't speak the word, buddy. Huh? He's getting, he's, right. he's here. Okay. Watch the street. What are we watching the street for? Drive-bys, we said. Okay, drive-bys. All right, I can use that two ways. How about drive-bys that don't... It's my listing. It's my... Now, pay attention to this. This is important. It's my listing, and I had an open house, and I had six drive-bys that didn't come into the open house. I had six drive-bys that didn't come into the open house. How can I use that? How can I use that? It's my outside. listing. Huh? You go outside. The price is too high. Maybe. Yeah, maybe no. you think. You got the right idea, Paul. Okay. Here's how I use that. When I sit down with a seller, all right, I'm going to tell the seller. I did the open house Sunday. I had eight couples come through the house, but I had six drive-bys that didn't come back. You know why they didn't come back? They wouldn't buy your price from the street. They wouldn't buy your price from the street. Follow? They drove by, they looked. Oh, 700000 for this thing? No, I don't think so. They wouldn't buy your price from the street. So how do you use that? To get a price reduction. Absolutely, positively. To get a price reduction. All right? What, else do, what other reasons do we watch the street for? We said things like this. Remember we said this? Do they have a newspaper with them? Or something, print out of some kind with them. Yeah, they do. What's that mean? What's that tell you? What's that tell you? They're going open houses looking at homes. They're looking. They're serious about looking, right? They got up this morning, they got in the newspaper and said, we want to see this one and this one and this one, right? So you have a better idea of how the, whether they're serious or not. Okay. What else? Another thing is this thing. Is it a, if it's a couple? Is this a together thing? Does she get out of the house and looks like she has to try to talk him into coming in with her? For example, we want a together thing. If it's a together thing, that's a good thing, right? So we're watching for that. Is it? A, all right. After they get out of the car, here's another one. After they get out of the car, do they look up and down the street to compare this house to other houses on the street? That's a buying sign. That's a buying sign. And another one is, do they look at the house as they approach the house? They look up, well, how long is the roof? You know, what about the backyard and so forth? They do that kind of stuff before they come in. Yeah. And the only way that you can find that out by watching the street, paying attention to what they're doing. So then we get around, we're going to go through the matrix carefully, and we're going to throw a little FTS in with it. But the matrix you have in your hand, it starts out with saying meet and greet. Now, what did we say two weeks ago about meet and greet? What did we say about meet and greet? Anybody remember? So I said, this is what I said. I said, say the same thing over and over and over again. Same thing. You know, thanks for coming by my open house. My name is so-and-so. From <coughs> my name is so, uh, excuse me. My name is so-and-so. All right. And your name is? Try to get him to sign. So the next thing says sign in. What did we say about a sign in sheet? The owner would appreciate if everybody that came to their house. Yeah, the owner, the owner would like for everyone who comes to the open house to sign in. If it were your house, you could understand that, couldn't you? What did we say about the, the, the piece of paper, that sign in sheet in particular, though? We said one thing about it. Remember what it was? Keep it with you. Keep it with you. Clipboard. Clipboard, keep it with you. Always. All right? So you know who you're talking to. So yeah, you might actually glance down every once in a while and find out who you're talking to, for example. And there's a few other reasons, too. All right? So we get the sign in. And then we invite to tour. What did we say about inviting to tour? You should have, this is what we said, you should have a set pattern for the tour. And if I want them to go in the dining room first, I'm probably going to stand here where I can sort of 
heard them that way first, if that's where I want them to go. Follow? So I invite the tour. All right, now, we invite the tour. Now we're going to get into some, some small talk smart. Remember this question? What was the question? Come on. See, I, I, I feel like you all have never... Do you currently own a home? You got it. You got it. Or not. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Do you currently... Oh, you live at 969 Cherokee Court. Do you currently own your home there? Uh -huh. Nice area. It really is. Uh, one small talk smart. Back up just a second. One small talk smart back up here. You might ask this question. Did you come from the sign or did you come from our ad? Did you come from the sign, our sign, or did you come from our ad? Now, why would you ask that? To see where your marketing is reaching. To see where your marketing is reaching. To see where your marketing is reaching. But the main thing is this. If they came off of sign, they don't know the price. If they came off the ad, they know the price. Uh -huh. Right? Is that right, Lewis? Yeah. Okay. So... I, I, I got a pattern to work with. They're in there. They came off the edge, so I know they're, the price is okay for them. Right? So right up in here somewhere, you small talk smart a little bit. Did you come from the sign or the ad? Oh, you came from our ad? Well, well which publication did you see? And I, well, we saw it in whatever, Star Ledger or whatever. But it's just a little small talk, and you're trying to find out what they know about the house. So let's get down in here again. The check question was what? Do you, do you currently? Currently means right now. Do you currently own a home? Well, let's go down to the yes side first. Yeah, we own a home. Okay. What's the next question? Yeah, have you ever thought about selling? Oh, you own, you own your home at 969 Cherokee Court, is that right? You ever thought about selling it? Uh, yeah, we, we're thinking about it. Maybe. Okay, what's the next question? What? What do you think of selling? Boy, it's rocket science, isn't it? God. Yeah, it's up here, but it ought to be in your head. You know? If you study the daggone stuff, it'd be in your head. What are you thinking of selling? Well, we thought we might do it this fall. Bingo. All right. Now, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? Trying to close on getting into the house so you get a place. Well, yeah, well, that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. It says when, and if the when fits, it says SBC. You remember that? Service. You got it. You're getting it. Come on. I'm going to offer you a service and then I'm going to explain the benefit. 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 Bingo. Okay. And then I'm going to C stands for check. How's that sound to you? I'll do a market analysis on your home. The benefit to you is when I'm finished, you'll know the approximate value of your home. How's that sound to you? You got that? You follow it? Service benefit check. How's that sound to you? Sound, oh, well, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, yes, that sounds good. Close for the appointment. When can I see your house? And I, I'm not kidding you. You can. This is not that difficult if you just put this thing in your head. And it's never going to work out exactly like you're never going to have somebody come in there and follow this thing. But the point being is you're going to have a better path to talk to them about. So we go back up here. When are you thinking about selling your house? Well, we might do it in a year or two. Is that a nobody? What do you close for? We might think, we're thinking, and then honestly, I mean, my, myself, for example, well, we're thinking about selling next spring. Now, what do you want to do with me? Follow up. Huh? Follow up. Follow up. I didn't understand what you said. Follow up. Follow, oh, follow up, yeah. What's it say? Would you mind if I gave you a call from time to time? Sure, that's okay. Okay. If they say no, well then a couple of months from now they forget they ever saw you and you can call them anyway. Seriously, you can. They never know they talk to you. Easy enough? All right, let's go to the other side. Check question was, what was the check question? Do you currently own a home? Do you currently own a home? Nope, don't own a home. Next question. Are you serious about buying? Are you serious? Are you don't own a home? Are you serious about buying one? That doesn't sound very good to me. I don't know. Uh -uh. 
All right, so here's how you find out checking serious. You see check serious? First check question, check serious. How long you been looking? How long you been looking? And it's all in that hand out there somewhere, I think. I don't know if it is or not, maybe it's not. How long you been looking? And you're hoping they're saying things like, uh, we're just starting, okay? Oh, how long you been looking? <laughs> Next question after that, as far as this talking about this serious stuff. Have you seen any houses? Since you been, have been looking, have you seen any houses you liked? Have you seen any houses you liked? Huh? Uh, yeah, we saw a few we liked. Oh, really? What's the next question? Have you tried to buy anything? Have you tried to buy anything? That's the three questions under check serious up here. Have you tried to buy anything? All right? Uh, yeah, we tried to buy this one house. Oh, gosh, that's, and obviously you didn't get it bought. Uh, could you tell me what happened? They wouldn't take our offer. Oh, okay. All right? So what do you know you're dealing with? You're dealing with somebody that's obviously not full price kind of buyer, right? See, hey, you, you can figure out what kind of people you're dealing with by asking the right questions. Next one says, after we discern that they're serious, it says check qualified. What's that mean? Do the credit card, do they have huh? qualified to buy the house? I don't know. I'm asking that one. Yeah. I don't know what qualified means. I'm qualified to do a lot of things. Okay. Huh? Have you talked to a mortgage rep? You ever talked to a mortgage rep about buying a house? All of our buyers, we start by offering them the service of talking to a mortgage rep, and that helps to determine the price that they can afford to pay for a house. That way you won't look at houses you can't buy. You don't want to look at houses you can't buy, do you? Oh, gosh, no, of course not. Of course not. Okay, so we check their qualifications. Let's say no, they're not qualified. Well, I don't, well, you know, not really. What are you going to do? SBC, service benefit check. Okay, what are you going to do with them? Service benefit check. Try to get them in to talk to your mortgage rep. And then you try to show them houses in their price range, right? How many of you have ever ridden around with a buyer and showed them houses out of their, way out of their price range? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody that's been in the business a while has made that mistake. Especially when you're new and just starting out. Don't ride around with somebody that can't buy a house. Okay. What's it say down here? If you're successful with your service benefit, close for the appointment with your mortgage yet. See that word down at the bottom that says confirm? Always confirm appointments. Whether it's face-to-face -face or whether it's on the phone, whatever. Always confirm appointments. It's real easy. Use these words. Use these words. I look forward to. I look forward to meeting with you. I look forward to meeting with you Thursday evening at 6 o'clock or whatever. I look forward to. It's real simple. Easy enough? Real simple. You get the appointment, you confirm it. I look forward to meeting with you. You're coming in Thursday at 6 o'clock, is that right? Well, I look forward to meeting with you at 6 o'clock Thursday. And put a little oomph in your voice. You know, you're saying, damn, I'm glad you're coming. <laughs> okay? Put a little oomph in. I look forward to meeting with you. Okay? You don't get anything with your SBC here? What are you going to do? Nah, we're not really interested in talking to mortgage rep yet. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what are, you, what are you closing for now? Follow up, call back. Would you mind if I gave you a call from time to time, keep you up on the real estate news in the neighborhood? Blah, blah, blah. Anything like that, right? All right, let's go over here. We decide that they're serious. We decide they're qualified. And then it comes down to 321. Remember 321? What was 321? Look for three what's? Signs. signs, buying signs, three buying signs. Oh, gosh, we really, we like the kitchen. Uh, how close is the school? Uh, where's the train station? Da, 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 da. Those kind of things. You look for buying signs as you talk to them, but you got to be able to small talk smart your way through that. What do we say? Where's the best time to ask questions like that? When I'm looking for buyer signs? 
uh, and I got a couple of good buyer signs. Remember, we we talked about this a little bit. Where's the best place to talk to them? Don't mouse. I really want my questions answered. Remember, I said we're gonna trap them. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Trap them stand in a room. In the stand in a doorway. Trap them in a room. Stand in a the doorway. They'll talk to you. They're not gonna walk out over top of you. Stand there and talk to them. Okay. You're gonna look for two soft closes. All right. You're going to ask two soft, you're going to look for three buying signs, you're going to ask two soft closing questions. Give me the two soft closing questions, real quick. Can you see yourself living in this house? Yeah. Um, do you like the house? Yep, that's the two. That's two. Simple. Simple as can be. Do you like the house? Yeah. Could you see yourself living here? Yeah, sure. Okay, what's hard and close question? Don't screw it up. It's not a dirty four-letter word. Would you like to buy the house? I guess it's all in your tone, too, right? Oh, sure it is. You can say anything offensively or, or passively. Sure it is. It's all in just developing, you know, it's like active. Your delivery should be passive on that? And then sure. And last question, because right. it's kind of like closing it softly, right? Yeah, right. It's soft closing, so, I, well, you know, guys, you said you liked it. Would you like to buy it? Yeah, something like that, right? But see, it comes down to just what we said. It's all just practice, practice, practice. All just nothing but practice, practice, practice. And you, you know, you'll, you, you, you'll, you'll never do it like I do, or like Lewis does, because we all got different styles. And you develop your own style with it, you know? I mean, I was an old football coach, so I'm one of these kind of people, well, I'm going to do it exactly like it says here. That's, that's just me. I would never try to deviate too much from it. Okay? So easy enough? Easy enough? All right, pick yourself a partner. Come back in 15 minutes and do it for me. We got two back there, two, 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 yeah. Y'all just go somewhere and uh, get, this, get this matrix in front of you. Get this, ma this matrix come front in front of you. Come back in 15 minutes. Easy enough? Get out of here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. These say y'all want to partner up? Okay. All right, you go with him. All right, practice, people. Practice, practice. And if I were you, I would go somewhere where I can quietly think about it. Because when we come back. One of you is going to be a real estate agent. One of you is going to be a buyer coming to an open house or a seller or both. They might be me. You never can tell. Uh, we're practicing to sell a house. You're practicing you're to talk to an open house customer. You're practicing this matrix right up here. Okay? Practice that matrix. Yeah, go, just go somewhere where you're not all in here, where you're not in here together. Yeah. Go somewhere we got time to think about it because we're going. I'm not going to do any more today. I'm like, you do it. <laughs>